Hi, my name is Alex Delascausas. This is a project for ethical hacking, a class at FIU. This is all for educational purposes. I, I do not, you know, recommend using this for illegal things, you know, to steal people's information or plant trojans or whatever you can do with this. Um, today I'm going to be using the social engineering toolkit to create a fake website. Um, so uh, let's begin, I guess. Um, start with updating your backtrack, which you should have if you know what this is. Get update. Yeah, I underscore so it. So there you go. Now, so we're gonna click. Backtrack, um, exploitation tools, social engineering tools, social engineering toolkit set. And we're gonna agree to the terms of service. You know, automatic. So right now it's, it's downloading, updating. Um, uh, this class is basically taught me how to use Backtrack, you know. And I'm assuming you know how to use Backtrack, but it's a Linux-based operating system. It's useful for hacking. Okay, so we have the social engineering toolkit. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna update the social engineering toolkit by typing five. And we have the updated social engineering toolkit. Now we're gonna click two. Wait. One. We're going to use one. Then we're going to click the two to pick website attack vectors, which is a fake website. And we're going to use a Java upload attack method. And we're going to use Site Cloner. Maybe using. No, this is basically asking if I want to set this out or if I'm just going to use it in my network. I only want to use it in my network. I don't want to actually make a fake site. So now we're going to use, we have to put in the, the IP address, so we're going to go and make a new one, and then make the IP, and we're using Ethernet, and the address.
so you know I I'm gonna be lazy I'm gonna say let's phone Google actually yeah just Hmm, hmm. Maybe let's pick another side. Hmm. Craigslist. I want to call him Craigslist. So. So here we have different options, you know, you could like throw your executable into their computer, which is a common one, but I'm just going to use the number two, the Windows Reverse TCP interpreter. It just gives me a little information about the number two. And, uh, here are some methods to go past the antivirus, and um, they say number 16 is the best, so I'm going to pick 16. Uh, I just put 4-4-3. I think it's fun. Um, let's go to Craigslist. I forgot I'm supposed to post this. So, not put the actual website.
Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I had some problems with the first you know, transitioning to part 2. Uh, I had to essentially stop using uh, VMware and I ran direct Linux off of a live CD because I was not able to connect my router through VMware. Um, so now that I'm running, that I ran direct VMware, I did the same process, copied the same IP, and I got these results. So, uh, I had to use a backtrack um, recorder, which didn't work with webcam, but see, I typed in the the IP that they gave me, the fake IP of the website, in port 80, and it took me to my Craigslist page that I emulated. And then we go here and it sent me this information, which is information on the computer that I am using. Um, so, all in all, it worked out decently. I still have a couple problems, you know, running it with VMware. Uh, I've decided that it's, a, it's probably better to run by backtrack off alive. I I just exited the program here. Um, so yeah, that's the fake Craigslist page, and you can click a link on it, and it, and it acts like regular Craigslist page, so it's almost unnoticeable. And if you did it with the EXE. It would have, you could easily drop, you know, a viral program, you know, into their computer. I haven't tried it, but, uh, because I don't have my own EXE, that would take me a while, but well, it works pretty well. Let's see, this is the software I used to record the video. And that's it. That's the central to, that's all the essentials to, um, making a fake website. Just steal people's information. Uh, thank you for your time, and remember this was done for educational purposes. Don't go and use this to steal people's in identities. It's not cool. Do legal things. And uh, this is all thanks to Faisal Kaleem, my professor. Uh, I guess that's the end of the video. See you guys later.